Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Powerlifter Reviews. My name is Jonathan Garcia, Powerlifter Extraordinaire. Today we got a really special video for you. I'm very excited. We're going to be doing an in-depth look at and review of Titan Fitness SSB Bar. I'm super excited about this. I think for the value, this thing is incredible. We're going to do an in-depth review and a little bit of workout with it. See if it can handle the pressure of a powerlifter workout. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here's the box. Came in in pretty good shape. Titan has really kind of stepped up their uh, packaging game. I know a lot of people have complained about their packages in the past, how shipments have arrived uh, in tethers, but I haven't really experienced anything like that. So let me go ahead and open this thing up, and uh, yeah, we'll check out the bar, guys. Very excited. All right, just wanted to do a quick overview on the packaging real quick before I took it out. Everything is nice and tight in there. Bar is in perfect condition. Well guys, there you have it. Just a quick unboxing and how it came to me. Just kind of want to walk you guys through the experience, let you know how the shipping was, um, how the packaging was, you know, as you guys saw, absolutely nothing wrong with it. And don't forget, Titan offers free shipping, which is fucking amazing uh, compared to everyone else who charges because, you know, this shit weighs. So they charge, you know, uh, one, obviously shipping whatever state you're in, plus taxes, which Titan didn't charge me any taxes, which was cool as well. So anyway, depending on what state you live in, uh, you know, you got to pay taxes, then you got to pay shipping. And then, you know, it's shit by weight for a lot of this fitness equipment. You know, it can be heavy. So being said, it can be very expensive to get that sent out to you. But anyways, um, Titan is offering free shipping on this thing and I actually had a rewards uh, point coupon from them. So I got this for $200, guys, which is fucking amazing. Because, I mean, just do your research, uh, Kabuki Strength. I mean, those guys are top of the line. Their SSB bar, if I'm not mistaken, is around $650 plus, um, you know, obviously shipping. And then Rogue's Fitness SSB bar, if I'm not mistaken, is around $400. And, um, and that's I'm not including shipping either. So to have this guy, $200 flat rate, including shipping, to me for $200 is... Fucking amazing. I, I don't know how they're doing that. Um, either everyone, either they're working with a really small margin or everyone else is just overpricing their, their, their products. Um, and you might be wondering, why the hell do I need an SSB bar? So the SSB bar is a fantastic piece of gym equipment to have. It's arguably, in my opinion, um, the one of the best, if not only, uh, accessory bar that, that you'll need for the gym. Uh, trap bars are really cool and all that, but I think this guy takes the cake as far as um, usability and versatility in the gym. First and foremost, if you've squatted for any, especially low bar, if you squatted for any length of time, especially peaking for a meet, or maybe even when you're in strength building phase and you've got a lot of sets with a lot of reps, it can be very hard on the elbows with that low bar position. A lot of guys will try to counter that with a wider grip on the low bar, but then that kind of works out where it's the bar, you may have difficulty with the bar sliding down. So with an SSB bar, the weight is actually higher on your neck, similar to a high bar, but you've got the handles here on the side, and that takes a lot of pressure off the shoulders and also the elbows, guys. So it's a great kind of tool to you utilize while you're uh, maybe getting over an injury or you feel like something's coming on. You can hop on the safety squat bar and still be able to do your main lift squat. Another great thing about this guy, the versatility. Good mornings with this thing are extremely comfortable. You've got the handle there and again, you're not putting extra pressure on your shoulders, 
that might beat up, be, be, uh, that might be beat up from bench or anything like that. Um, so you've got those comfortable safety handles right there. Good mornings are awesome. Also, this thing is absolutely incredible for front squats. Now, a lot of guys uh, in powerlifting, we don't really come from all the backgrounds. Not a lot of us do. So that front position right here, you know, we're not accustomed to that as where like a, a crossfitter or an ollie lifter may be uh, to have that kind of um, flexibility to kind of rack the weight and keep it up there, especially for some of the front squat sets that you might be doing doubles and triples on, you know, anything 405 or above. It's going to be a real lot of pressure on the elbows and wrists and even right here on your collarbone. So this thing kind of makes that a lot more comfortable. So as far as versatility, this guy is really hard to beat especially for a home gym where um, you may not have a lot of space for different types of equipment. This guy right here will take care of all that for you. So, all right, so enough talking. Let's go ahead and load some weight on here and see how it really performs under some pressure. Alright guys, so we've done a couple sets with the SSB bar, um, the bar weighing 61 pounds, kind of all there, y'all know. We got four 40 pounds on each side, doing five sets of five, I've already done my last set. Really, really liking it, this shit is a lot harder than squats, so if you've never trained on an SSB bar, tighten your seatbelt, this shit is, this shit take you for a ride. I think we're gonna throw one more 45 on there just for good measure, just to see how the bar holds up. I wanna put over 500 pounds on there, see if there's any flex, see if there's any bend. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll make sure to record that and see how it goes. There you go. Um, we've done a whole workout on the SSB bar. Um, I'm a big fan. I think this thing is amazing. And again, just to go back and hammer down the point of value for $200 ordered, shipped to your front door. I mean, you cannot beat this thing. Honestly, um, I know Titan gets a lot of bad rap. Uh, everybody think, well, it's manufactured in China or whatnot. But honestly, I mean, so are iPhones. You know, the phone that you have in your pocket, probably made in China. Um, so some people look down on that. I mean, for me, I mean, as someone who, I'm not running a commercial gym, I'm training for my own personal use. I mean, why pay more for something that's just as good? I think that the money that I can save here, I can use in other endeavors, or maybe even grow my gym a little more, spend that extra money, uh, getting myself another piece of equipment that's gonna help me be a better power lifter. Um, so I don't see anything actually wrong with that. I'm a big fan of Titan Fitness. My rack is Titan Fitness. Um, and it's been an awesome power rack. If you guys haven't checked out my review on that, um, you can do so right now on my channel and please give it a like and, and uh, comment. If you have any comments, I'll be happy to answer them for you guys. So again, guys, that's it for me um, in power lifter reviews. This channel is dedicated, these videos are dedicated uh, to all the power lifters in the powerlifting community, um, especially now with this COVID-19 
thing. We do not know when the gyms are gonna open back up. I know some states have, some states are gonna hold out. So I know that the garage gym community is growing. And honestly guys, it's pretty awesome having your own little setup, I, I, I can't lie. So um, again, for power lifters, buy a power lifter. And just honest reviews guys, let me know what you think about this video and if you plan on getting yourself an SSB bar. Thanks again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.